Okay, hey guys, I am in Georgia. It's been a couple of weeks since I did my uh, last video. Uh, the last video I did, I was in South Carolina. I was sick. I don't know if I talked that much about uh, what was going on then. Anyway, I had the flu. I'm still not 100%, but I am doing better than I was. Anyway, um, so... I left North Carolina because I was sick, and then I went to South, upstate South Carolina. Then I returned back to North Carolina, was only there for a few days, and then I started having problems with my stomach, upset stomach. I had to leave again. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this in the past, but in North Carolina, they or Western North Carolina the area I was in, they mostly there there are there are almost no 24 hour bathrooms. There's only a couple. Well, there's a few, but not very many, and anyway not very many and a lot of the ones that are 24 hours completely block the bathrooms off they chain the bathrooms up you know so you can't use them anyway so i ended up leaving and i i had sorry i had diarrhea for a couple days and i just i just was not in a situation where i you know i i could you know i just i had to be near a bathroom so i ended up uh, and one I could stay at all night, one I could stay at for a while. So I left and went to South Carolina. The first night I was at the South Carolina Welcome Center. Then I went to a QT and then I went to some other places. Um, while I was down there, I went to the library. I think the first day I was there, whacked the back of my bumper, uh, put a big scratch, knocked a couple pieces of paint off, places of paint, scruffed it up pretty good. So I wasn't, it, it, luckily I didn't bust the tail light or, you know, loosen the clips on the bumper or do, or split the bumper or do anything like that. Just scruffed it up pretty good. So I was really unhappy about that. I, I needed to fix it. I was going to put some stickers on it because that's my go-to when I scruff my car. But I decided to try to paint it. But first I was really, I really needed a break. So the first day I left uh, upstate South Carolina and decided to just just go just leave so i took um south carolina highway 11 all the way down to walhalla where where you get off where i can get off to i-85 which brought me down here to georgia anyway so the first day i was and i wasn't feeling great but i i felt like walking around taking some pictures and in a few minutes, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm actually probably gonna uh, offset that to a short because I don't. I don't want to. I'm just gonna offset that. I did like a little video slideshow. I didn't do any videos. The first day, I went to Lake Hartwell State Park on the South Carolina side. Uh, day number two, I went to. Uh, gosh, where did I go? Oh, Stevens County uh, State Park, which is on the south. It's kind of like it's on. You go to it. I went to it to out of Tacoa, Georgia. So it's on the South Carolina Georgia line. Um, I did that. I visited the Traveler's Rest, a historic site, which is in South Car low part of South Carolina at the Georgia line. Um, it wasn't open, but I took some pictures. Then the next day, I went to Watson Mill Bridge State Park, which I act actually just kind of found as a fluke. And then yesterday, I went to Tallulah Gorge. Um, I didn't get, a, didn't really get pictures at the gorge. I went to some other places. I did a lot of walking. Uh, took a lot of photos there. I'm going to pull that together in another video, like another little short video. But this video, I just want to talk about, uh, you know, I was sick with the flu. You know, I was in North Carolina, went to South Carolina, went back to North Carolina, back to South Carolina, and now I'm in Georgia. So, and I'm still not 100%. Today was sort of like I needed to take a break. Today, um, today's Sunday, and I really just kind of needed to take a break because I did four days of driving a bunch of places, um, taking bunches of pictures, and I don't want to, like, add just bunches and bunches of miles to my car, plus I just put a, fill my car up, like, two days ago, and with all the driving, I already need to put gas in my car again, I'm at a quarter of a tank, you know, and I don't like, or a little above a quarter, and I don't like to let it drop below a quarter of a tank, anyway, so here I am. I'm in Georgia. I stopped at this little uh, grocery store. I, it actually turned out to be a really nice grocery store. I didn't think that it would be that good. Uh, it would be great.
but it's actually a pretty nice store. Um, I'm going to leave here in a few minutes, and I'm going to go to this little area where I'm at downtown and take some, uh, probably some pictures downtown, maybe do a little short video. I've really kind of gotten out of my videos because I haven't been traveling for, for, for anyone who's been following me. I've been full-time in my car for a whole year. Um, travel you know in my car I have not been traveling though the first time I did this about 10 years ago I traveled the whole United States or well not the whole United States but I went from like North Carolina all the way to Michigan Wisconsin Washington State Montana I went all over ended up going to New York um, a lot of places so this that past year has been just me and my companion and our vehicles but the way things have gotten in Western North Carolina now, it is increasingly difficult if you are in your vehicle to, to stay there, whether it's living in the vehicle, car camping, or what what the deal is, or you just like to sleep in your car because you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't want to go to a motel. It is increasingly difficult, and motel prices now are at like two hundred a night. Um, and rent prices in Western North Carolina have went up to almost $2,000 a month. Um, to rent a room from someone, it's $1,000 a month. The prices are absolutely outrageous now in North Carolina, and it's just insane. Um, after Helene, a lot of people, a lot of people were staying at the rest areas in Western North Carolina. But after Helene, they closed them off so that FEMA could come in. And, and that just kind of broke everybody up and, you know, so no one really can stay, you know, no one can stay at the rest areas anymore. They got to stay someplace else. Uh, some of the, um, uh, Walmarts in, in Western North Carolina do not allow, uh, overnight parking anymore and the police will run you out. I know that, um, one of my, one of our, um, houseless, whatever you want to call it, houseless companions or houseless acquaintances, whatever you want to call him, um, said, you know, he went down there. He, I guess, I don't know, stayed at a, a Walmart, whatever. I know he stayed at the Walmart and Travelers Rest South Carolina and got run out. And they told him that if he came back, that they would, they would put him in jail. Uh, he was at one in uh, Western North Carolina and they told him, uh, well, I told someone else we know, which he's, he's, a, this guy actually lives in a, in a Mustang, which is just insane, really, but he lives in a Mustang, and he make, made his bed into the trunk of it, anyway, but he has a full-time job, he's a plumber, actually, and so he has a regular job in Western North Carolina, but he can't stay there anymore either because he too got ran out and was told that if they found him there again, that they were locking people up. They would lock him up, and I'm hearing from some other people, for the, our companion and others, that that from what I'm hearing, and now this is secondhand information, and I don't know how right or how wrong it is, but I know that I'm hearing that the police can just arbitrarily uh, arrest you for sleeping in your car, whether you're traveling or living in it or what, what the deal is. They can just arbitrarily, arbitrarily arrest you and take you to jail um, without any warning whatsoever. So I'm, I'm not sure how that, I, I just don't know. Now, as far as my companion is concerned, my partner, the car is not, um, reliable enough to actually leave the Western North Carolina area, or at least my partner doesn't think it is. I personally don't know. I would probably, if it were me, I would probably push the envelope a little bit, but, but, but my partner's afraid to do that. And I understand because it's 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 home, you know, and you can't just you don't want to push it and be without a vehicle. And we're not at a place where we can buy another vehicle right now. Or my partner can buy another vehicle, so that's kind of out right now. Um, but you know, that's where I'm at now, and I am in Georgia. My partner's still in Western North Carolina, trying to kind of tough it out there. Uh, like I said, if it were up to me, I, if it were me, me, I would probably try to just leave. And, but I mean, he said, but the problem is, is the car's been in to the shop several times. They can't figure it out. I mean, it's, it's insane. They should be able to figure it out. Okay. Like I was saying, um, the car's been in the shop a few times. 
they can't figure it out when the car goes in they the the advice service advisors will say well if it's not doing the bad behavior so we can't figure it out even with an engine light on recently the engine light came back on again but then the engine light um went off again so i i'm not i don't know i don't know um used to be my vehicle i stopped driving it because it, it got so um problematic and a little scary actually to drive i mean some of the stuff that was wrong with it got fixed but you know now there's something else i'm kind of thinking it's a fuel pump but i don't know so that's where my partner is with the vehicle and as of right now that's the car that you know that you know it's that's all that my partner has right now so that's where I'm at. And I, I realize I'm shaking the phone. I don't want to do that. Anyway, and I don't want to make this video overly long like I did the first one two weeks ago. But anyway, just to um, reiterate, I left because I was sick and I'm in Georgia now. Um, you know, in, in a few days, I'm going to head back to upstate South Carolina to stay there. Um, you know, but right now, there's a few more places I want to, uh, uh, you know, explore. There's Tugelo River or Tugelo State Park. There's Victoria Bryant State Park, Richard B. Russell, and I think there might be. Oh, there's another place going towards South Carolina. Another area of Lake Hartwell I want to do, want to maybe explore. Uh, there's a few things I want to do, but I got to slow it down a little bit because I got to do some work too. So tomorrow I maybe will probably have to maybe find a library, do some work. Um, so off and on, just off and on. Anyway. As far as the vehicle, I don't know. We don't have any answers right now. I know that we can't. I see a, believe it or not, a white 2001 Ford Taurus coming into the parking lot here. And I just noticed that car because I used to have one. I loved that car. Drove that car for years. Loved that car. Um, a lot of people laugh being a Ford Taurus, but it, it, that car was... A, it, I had my sh share of issues with it, but it was a good car. Anyway, so... Oh, so that's where I am right now. And what I, what I, what I was going to say is while I have no issue, like in North Carolina, we stayed at one, one parking lot and, and, and I, th I don't know if I did this and talked about this in the last video, but there, you know, there was me, my, my partner and our other houseless companion or houseless acquaintance. And he was there, and it wasn't an issue. If I had to get out and go to the bathroom, you know, everything was closed after 10 o'clock. So there was no bathroom. That's a big issue, no bathroom. And, and you know, as a woman, I just, um, anyway, you know, a man, you know, if there's a tree or a bush, you know, he's good. But, but a woman, it's a little less, mm. Now, I have no issue getting out next to the car and urinate on the ground. I don't urinating on the ground. I don't. A lot of people think it's gross, but when you're in a, in a, in a parking lot and there's no other option that, that, you know, you do what you got to do. But that's not my first go-to. If, if I can go somewhere and there's a 24-hour bathroom, I will do that. And in, in the area of South Carolina that I went, I at least discovered at least probably half a dozen different spots, rest area, not rest area so much, but like truck stops or 24-hour uh, gas stations, places I could stay and, 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 you know, and cycle around and stay at different ones and then maybe go someplace else. But I didn't have to go far, you know, to, to find another, another area that I could stay in for a little bit. And, and I didn't notice in South Carolina, the, uh, amount of people, I guess, living in their vehicles or car camping or whatever you want to sleeping in their vehicles or whatever. I didn't, I didn't notice that in South Carolina. I don't know if the area of South Carolina that I was in, that the police have simply uh, ran everyone out and and made them leave. I don't know if that was. I don't know. I don't know. I just. But I didn't see it. So, but that's and that, and that is a big issue in Western North Carolina. There were so many people. A lot of us were staying at the rest areas, and you know it, it got to be such a problem. I know I've talked about this in past videos where there were as many as sometimes 20, 20 or twenty five people at a rest area at night and that's just a rest area that didn't include people maybe trying to stay at walmart or floating around the local target or the pet smart or you know hobby lobby or a sporting goods store or wherever people stay at other places uh other walmarts that, that were less restrictive um 
you know, or just other parking lots. There's a lot, a lot of people floating around that are living in their vehicles. And I don't know what happened to all those people when Helene hit. I know that the rest area was closed, and I don't know if they went to South Carolina, other places in North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia. I don't know where they went, but I would say... I didn't see any of them for the first month. That was it. We, we saw a few of them, and then boom. We, some of them stayed, but the majority of people left. I think especially the women, because that, you know, it's harder for a woman to just get out in the open and pop a squat next to, to you know, her vehicle. You know, and I mean, because there's always that fear, you know, you're going to get caught uh, more so, I think, than with a man, because a man can do it so quickly and can maybe hide a little better. Um, now, if you can get in your bushes, whatever, I'm not even going to go into that, but, but it's harder. I think it's harder. It's harder for, for, for a woman. And, and plus, if you're like, you know, and plus I don't have a lot of issues with upset stomach, but if I get it, it's a problem. So, you know, I, as a woman, I prefer to be near a restroom and a lot of men do too. It's not just women. A lot of men want to be near that restroom too, especially if they have issues. And, you know, because it's just, it's just easier, it's better, it's cleaner, it's more sanitary. I mean, because the truth is, it is not sanitary. To, it's really, it's not sanitary really to urinate. I mean, it's not sanitary to even urinate, let alone defecate in, in the grass someplace like a dog. That is just not, it's just, it's not sanitary. But, you know, that's the way Western North Carolina is. And I believe that, and I tru truly wholeheartedly believe that, the people of Western North Carolina, they want the car livers and the car dwellers and the car campers and the car livers and the homeless that are living in tents and the beggars and the bums. And they want to, you know, they want everyone to leave, you know, everyone who's not living in a house or apartment or someplace they want, they just, I think they just want everyone to, that they just want, you know, they just want all the uh, people that are houseless to leave. And from one perspective, I understand it. But then from the other perspective, I don't understand it because rent prices are so out of control that, I, almost, I mean, I don't even know how people can afford to live in Western North Carolina at this point. And upstate South Carolina is not much better. So I, I just don't know. And, and, and it's not just in North Carolina and South Carolina. It's everywhere. This problem is everywhere. So anyway... While I know that this was more ranting and raving than anything else, it is what it is. And my partner hates that phrase, but that is the, the truth. And another problem is in a, there, were, there were a lot of people that were um, unhoused, homeless and unhoused before Hurricane Helene and after Hurricane Helene. It, it, I don't know how, I don't know the percentage of people, but it, it contributed to the homeless population, whether it's living in a car or living in the woods a lot. It, it just really, it, it, it really compounded the problem. And so now I, I think that the residents of Western North Carolina and the police, they don't know any other way to handle it except just to try to run the people out. And two, there were, I, I guess overall, I, to, like I said, there was just, there's a lot of us there, a lot of people there, and it's just gotten to the point where it's almost like, you know, you got to leave, you know, at some point. And I tried to explain this at one point to my partner, but, you know, it just went in, it just went in one ear, not the other. But anyway, so that, that's where I'm at. But now my partner has found a spot that seems okay, at least, at least for now. Um, anyway, so I'm not going to, keep rambling on we I am officially one year into living full-time in my vehicle and that's where I'm at and I've talked a lot about the place I can go back to and whatever when I get my rent caught up and you know whatever so that that's it for now um I'm in Georgia and I'm hopefully in my next video I'm gonna because uh, I'm gonna do a video slideshow but that's where I'm at I hope everyone has a good weekend God bless peace